Welcome back to Star Wars Celebration Live, powered by Verizon on StarWars.com. I am here with two, I, I, I don't want mean to offend you, but two very lucky guys who, after years and years of dedication, recently got to work on Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens. Is that correct? Yes. Yep, that's correct. Yeah. All right. Can you can you tell me what you guys do? Oh, so, sorry. First, introduce yourselves. <laughs> yeah, I'm Lee Towsey, yeah. and um, I'm I'm the R2D2 droid builder. Okay. And we built other droids as well for the Force Awakens. Right. And and your name? Uh, my name's Oliver Steeples, and I've been part of the R2 Builders group since 2002. So, can you tell the story about how, first of all, how you got started in the R2 Builders Club? Yeah, well, uh, probably best if you start, Oliver, because you're the oldest. Oh, well, well, thanks, the oldest, oldest member compared to me. So, uh, yeah, I joined the R2 Builders Group at 2002 during its inception, um, and now here I am, 13 ish years later, with two and a half R2s at home and worked on Star Wars Episode 7 with R2. And I, and I joined the R2 Builders Group. Um, in 2007 and two years later having followed plans and you know learned how to build an R2 from online information ended up with a fully finished R2 in 2009. Wow. So for those that don't know can you explain what the R2 Builders Club is? Uh, it's a club that builds R2-D2s. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry. It's people that build <laughs> droids. Um, yeah basically it's a worldwide club um, that allows members to join free of charge. Um, anyone can join? Anyone can join. Anywhere. Um, anywhere in the world, we've got members worldwide, uh, multiple nationalities, local builders groups. Members can literally join, um, have a look at other members' droids, builds, how to build, download plans, purchase plots, all with the aim of it making can't, a droid. It can't be easy, it can't be cheap. How much work have you put into building one of your droids? Well, my own, my own personal yeah. one took me two years. Um, and that was in a lot of spare time. You know, I gave my, my, I've got a very understanding wife who <laughs> most evenings she didn't see me. I was in my workshop weaving away for two years. But the information that I had from 2007 was a lot more resourceful than what Oliver had because he st when he started his build, the information right. wasn't so readily available. Right. But as the group's grown, um, even now there's more information available now. They're a very helpful, bu helpful bunch of guys. Mm -hmm. And um, that's how we managed it. So as time goes on, new information is coming out all the time, even in 2007, on droids that were made in the 70s and the 80s, and then also how to make it work with the technology we have today. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah that's right, yeah. Uh, so you're minding your own business, you are this hardcore fan of Star Wars, you're building this in your spare time, and at some point, somehow you get contacted to work on Episode 7. How does that happen? What's that all, first all email, Oliver's, that first contact? All Oliver's work, I'll let him talk about that. Oh, it it's it's my fault. <laughs> um, so, at Celebration um, at Europe, in Essen, in Germany in 2013, um, the RT Builders built a specific droid R4C2 to go up on stage. So we had backstage passes. Um, very cheekily, I mentioned to Kathleen Kennedy that if they needed any droids for any films they were making, uh, please contact me. Right. As you do. Yeah, um, as you do. Yeah. And then You're just, just chatting with Kathleen Kennedy. <laughs> hey, if you ever want to hire me, you know, just to make some droids for you. Um, and then three months later, I got the call to say, uh, "No to way! Droids? Get out of here!" Yeah, <laughs> it was as simple as that. <laughs> You're in the right place at the right time. Yes. So, I mean, all of the questions I want to ask you, you probably can't answer. D d <laughs> you can try. You I can, can try. try. So, so I mean, the big news is BB-8. Can we? We probably can't talk about BB-8. Can we talk Correct. about BB-8? We can't talk about we BB-8. We cannot talk about BB-8. I can tell you about BB-8. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you can. It's Are a you going to have a job? Yeah, it's a nice ball. It's a it nice is, ball. It is. It's a nice yeah. ball. Do you yeah. know if BB-8 is a boy, girl, or like neutral gendered? Not sure. We don't not, know. Not sure. Not sure. Not sure. Yeah, it's just a droid. Yeah, we, I don't think we can comment. Do, on that. do we, we refer to BB-8 as a him? Because we call it like C-3PO, yeah, you'd say think, like him, yeah, we wouldn't call him, it an it. That's right, yeah, him, him right. is good. Yeah. I, I think it's safe to say R2 is all man. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and we have seen R2 in the new trailer now. Indeed, So, yeah. I mean, we could have assumed, but now we've seen that R2's in it, right? Of course. Yeah, yes, okay. Yeah. R2, I can confirm, is in And you guys worked on both of those, maybe? No, no, okay, we, okay. We, had, we had nothing to do with BB-8. Okay. Um, that was a far more talented team of guys, but it was it was a pleasure to see that grow in the same workshop as we were in making R2. Well, you know, it, it was a... see what came out of it, you know, it's, it's amazing. Right. It was an absolute pleasure to talk to you guys. Thank you so much, it's Thanks. very cool. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Thanks.